Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today on Effects Explained, I'm gonna talk about analog delay. Um, and this will include basically all other delays besides digital delay, because um, they all have um, similar features. Uh, but I'm concentrating on a regular analog delay. Um, this, of course, as you hear in the name, uses different kinds of techniques, like really technical to uh, create the echo effect. Uh, but what really separates it from the digital delay is what the actual echoes sound like. So here's uh, my picture of trying to describe this. As you can see, the signal it changes it's not really exactly like the digital delay where it was exactly the same things please see my other video about that uh, with analog delay it's just it's yeah the echoes get uh, more and more distorted and um, this is what uh, i had a tape delay a classic tube driven tape delay i thought it was broken because i was used to digital delays because all the echoes sounded really uh, weird and uh, strange. And probably that was exactly what it was supposed to look uh, sound like. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. I don't have it anymore. Um, okay, I'm going to show you... Today I'm gonna only going to show you a very simple example of this. Um, so here's my regular sound without any delay at all. <laughs> Yeah, and then I add the analog delay, which, by the way, can look yeah, something like that. Or, um, yeah, something like this. Or, um, yeah, something like that. Yeah, let's add the analog delay and listen to the echoes, how they differ from the original signal. Okay, so why would you use an analog delay or uh, these kind of versions of the uh, echo units that make the uh, echo sound change from the original tone? Well, there are several reasons. Um, some use it to get that classical vintage sound because this is what you used before. You used echo units that didn't have this perfect repeat thing uh, like the digital delays do. So it instantly sounds more... Um, vintage or classic and um, uh, as when i talked about um, digital delay you you get the effect the delay gives you effect of having like two guitars and uh, this really makes the other signal the delay signal uh, sound different from the first guitar so you enhance the impression that it's actually two guitars so there are several reasons for having an analog delay usually the uh, delay time uh, is shorter on analog delay pedals but um, yeah if you're looking for a classic sound you don't really want long delays you want that short slapback thing okay i hope this was useful and this has been the swedish guitar nerd on the effects explained talking about analog delay see you soon